The main story in Fontaine at the moment hasn't really talked much about the Abyss. I mean, why should it? There are a lot of other stuff going on with Fossilors, the Oratrice bugging out, and the whole prophecy to deal with. In one of the world quests, however, we do meet the father of all Melusines, Elenas. While Elenas appears to us is a cute and cuddly Melusine, don't let his appearance fool you. Elenas is known by another name, the Great Beast, and is likely one of the few characters we meet who may be from the Abyss itself. So who exactly is Elenas, and why is it significant that the Traveller has met him? Before we dive further into the details, if you want to see more Genshin Impact content, do consider subscribing to the channel. Let's rewind the clock a little bit. The father of all Melusines, Elinas, is a figure we meet only towards the end of the Ancient Colors World Quest. Throughout that world quest, most of our time is spent in the Merusi village, which is located underneath the Barrel region of Fontaine. Technically, the village can be found within the remains of an extremely large beast. It is only much later that we learn that this large beast was in fact the true body of Elinas, and because of it, the region around it is also now referred to as Elinas. In the very beginning of its life, Elinas could not perceive its own form. It only knew that it floated alone in what it referred to as the cosmic darkness. At the time, Elinas had no name and stated that this location was akin to a void, cold and lonely with no other person there. After a while, it met a person it later referred to as its mother, who proceeded to not only name him but also gave Elinas a physical form so that it may venture out to a beautiful new world. It's unclear how this person accomplished this, but we'll get back to that a little bit later into the video. Elinas then mentioned that it left the world beneath the earth and ventured out into what it later learned was Tevar. Initially, due to the endless loneliness it experienced, Elinas was ecstatic. It met many different creatures, all of which it wanted to make friends with, and was for all intents and purposes, happy. What it didn't know was that while it felt overjoyed, its presence actually had an adverse effect on the surrounding creatures and the environment. This effect that it had on the people and environment around it was also recorded by the Fontaine Armada, who mentioned that Elinas first appeared in Tevat around the time of the Cataclysm 400 years ago. Its appearance caused severe pollution and damage to both land and sea as it traveled through Fontaine, though Elinas itself likely wasn't aware of this. The stark contrast between what Elinas itself was experiencing versus its effects on its surroundings makes me believe that Elinas was actually something that originates from the Abyss. It would make sense that something that comes from the Abyss would create a negative effect on everything in Tevat just by being there. The description of its origin place being an empty cosmic darkness and that it came from beneath the earth further hints at its true origin. Elinas' whole story of being formless and obtaining a physical form through the help of this unknown figure, the mother, also seems to parallel the story of Rhyndaughter when the Kenria alchemist created the dragon Durin. Elinas was also recorded to have appeared during the time of the Cataclysm, coincidentally the same time Durin was unleashed on Mondstadt and the same time that the first Hydro Archon died. While it's not explicitly mentioned, everything described by Elinas largely points at the very real possibility that it indeed does come from the Abyss and that Rhyndaughter, or perhaps another alchemist, gave it a physical form. This opens up a whole lot of potential ideas, such as it being a hint at how Rhyndaughter's ability to create living creatures actually worked, as it's speculated that her methods involved the Abyss in some way. It actually kind of reminds me of the Warhammer 40k series, with how the Emperor of Mankind created his Primarchs, as he was speculated to have put 20 minor warp gods and placed them into the genetically modified bodies he had created. I'm really curious and do wonder whether this is what the art of Kimia really is, combining souls or the equivalent of souls taken from the Abyss with physical bodies created in Tevat, the amalgamation of which creates life. It also gives us a bit of insight into the Abyss denizens itself. Up till this point, we've mostly been told that those originating from the Abyss are always destructive and malevolent. However, with the account provided by Elinas, while they do cause some destruction and have an adverse effect to their surroundings, they may not be intentionally doing so. 
Elenas was just happy to meet others it could talk to, and when it realized it was causing harm to others, it was more than willing to allow its body to remain dead, so as to not continue to hurt those he cared about. Even during the World Quest storyline, he actively assisted the Traveler in preventing his resurrection, which makes me think he isn't entirely evil despite being from the Abyss. In his current state, Elinas appears only as a disembodied voice that the Melusines largely can't hear anymore. Only a handful of them and the Traveler themselves were able to meet him, and it expressed its gratefulness at us helping him. According to Elinas, he claims that his time of life is at an end, and eventually his consciousness will fade and disappear altogether. We don't know much else about Elinas, but with its apparent death, we likely have lost a very reliable source of information about the Abyss. Perhaps it's just too early to learn of the enigma that is the Abyss, but Elinas is a clear example that the Abyss may not be the evil location we have been told thus far. The Melusines have been mentioned in the 4.1 trailer, so I hope that we learn more about Elinas and the Melusines in the future. Let me know what you think of Elinas in the comments below and whether he will have any impact in the future story. If you enjoyed the video, do consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Thanks so much for watching and as usual, have a nice day.